Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show my workflow with ML files, uh, MLV files from Magic Lantern, which I shot with my uh, Canon ESM. The workflow is pretty simple, so let's dive straight into it. Hopefully it's gonna be a really quick one. So yeah, first of all, we open MLV app and I already dropped my uh, MLV file into MLV app. It's just a single clip uh, shot with uh, uh, 2.8K mode. Uh, you can see, uh, if you press this I button, you can see information about file. It's shot with a Canon ESM with a kit lens. Uh, here is resolution, duration, number of frames, frame rate, everything you need to know, even aperture. And it's shot with 10, 12 bit. Basically, you can even color grade in this MOV app. So you have your HSLs, you have your basic uh, correction, exposure, contrast, and, and everything can be changed. That is pretty simple. You have your tone curves, you can make quickly S curve or wherever. You can apply loots here straight away. So if you shot your video and if you need just to apply loot, you can do it here. In my case, what I'm doing, I'm doing the basic uh, correction of exposure if needed. And uh, if needed, I adjust temperature. So for example, if I find some neutral uh, white, I can take this color picker and uh, choose the appropriate temperature for this image. That is basically all the correction that I do in this MLV app. And after that I go into presets and choose a Sony S-Log3. And it's straight away converted to Sony S-Log, S-Log3. And I export it. So here is export settings and I export it uh, currently mostly in Apple ProRes 422LT. You can also export it in any other uh, available uh, codec. So you have uh, 422HQ for example, or you have Cinema GNG, uh, compressed, uncompressed, or straight away to H264. So that is up to you. But I'm currently exporting everything as Apple ProRes LT. I also tried HQ, but uh, to save some space, I'm using LT. I do not see the much difference in, a, in my workflow. So if you're really gonna push your footage, maybe export as uh, HQ would be better. But in my case, I'm doing LT. I'm selecting the clip which I want to export and just press export and find where I want to export it in my case. I do all the editing on uh, external SSD. So here we have, uh, in this folder I have source file and so basically I export it just next to the folder. Depending on the file size, it might take a while. Export is ready, so, so here here we have our progress file, we can play it, everything is smooth. I've opened reserve already and you can just drag and drop it here and throw it on the timeline. Play it back, everything works. So we are ready to color grade and I'll jump straight to color grading, so color tab. And what I'm doing here, I'm just adding few nodes. And the first note is usually color space transform. There is a different workflows you can use, but that is the probably the simplest and that is what I'm using. So what do we have? We have input color space, which is Sony Gamut 3 because it's Sony S-Log 3. So you need to match it. And you uh, have to select here is Sony S-Log 3 and output color space. We have Rec 709. So we are working with Rec 709 color space. So here we go. And we already have, you see the difference? So yeah, that is my kind of node structure. And in these nodes, what I'm doing, I'm just uh, adding basic correction. So if uh, I need to uh, correct some exposure or something, after I've applied this color space, I can basically some, leave something or something removed and uh, I would call it usually basic correction. F 
for a next node we can for example select some colors and uh, and work with them for example if we use this uh, uh, hue vs saturation so we can use qualifier and uh, for example boost this red and make this uh, woman stand out a bit more that is one for example and just I'll call it just color so in this one if you want to apply a loot you can for example select some loot and just apply loot here just drag and drop for example here I have uh, Peter McKinnon loots and yeah that is uh, also an example and you can add another note if you want to correct something further for this after applying a loot usually I would apply loot before I will change any colors so basically this one is will be deleted and I would change colors here here we go something like this so if you want to do anything further sky is the limit you have really flexible files and uh, that this basic structure you can add more nodes and do whatever you want but that is basically it and after that all i need to do is to export it so deliver tab and usually that is more than enough to export it as h24 uh, resolution as this one is 2.8k it uh, upscales up to 4k is uh, really good so i can just upscale it to 4k i'm gonna have this uh, letterbox but i like it so i'm gonna keep it and i can add it to render queue so everything is all right name it workflow find the location and save it and add to render queue so it's just saying that it's gonna upscale the footage so that is exactly what i want and here we have a render queue render all <clears throat> obviously it also will take some time but it's quite quick i think it's even quicker than uh, converting from mlv And here we have our final file. As you can see, it is pretty good one. Well, yeah, that was it. I hope it was helpful. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And uh, like, subscribe as usual, and see you later.